Let's talk about the phylum Cnidaria. Here I'm all things marine. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you love the ocean as much as I do. And make sure you smash that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the weird ocean creatures that I talk about. Hi guys, and today we're going to be talking about the phylum Cnidaria because it is the next thing to go through in our journey through ocean classification. There are over 11,000 species of cnidarians. The phylum cnidaria has four classes within it. Hydrozoa, Anthozoa, Scyphozoa, and Cubozoa. Cubozoa is the smallest of the classes, and Anthozoa is by far the largest. Today I'll be going in depth into what a cnidarian is, but I will be going more in depth into each of these classes in separate videos. So let's get right into it. Cnidarians are animals that possess a special type of structure known as a nematocyst, which all cnidarians have. This nematocyst is what is responsible for the sting you may experience if you come into contact with some of these animals. How exactly these organelles fire is still being disputed, but it is thought that pressure or osmotic concentrations could affect the firing of them. These animals have no brain, which means they have no nervous system. Another thing to note about these animals is that they do only have one opening that functions both as a mouth and an anus. Talk about crap talking. Organisms that are cnidarians possess radial symmetry, meaning no matter which way you cut them, if you cut them down the middle any way you want, they will look identical on both halves. They have an ectoderm and an endoderm, as well as a portion between the two muscle layers known as the mesoglea. They have one of two basic body plans, a medusa body plan or a polyp body plan. The medusa body plan is more free swimming and mobile, whereas the Paula body plans are usually sessile and do not move. A lot of these classes possess both types, however, Anthozoa only has the polyp body plan. I hope you all enjoyed this video, learning more about the Cnidarian phylum today. Next video, I will be talking about Scyphozoa, which is the true jellyfish. Other videos I will do on the Cnidarian phylum include Anthozoa, which includes corals and sea anemones. Cubozoa includes the box jellyfish, things such as the sea wasp, and also the final phylum, Hydrozoa, includes siphonophores and hydroids, such as the Portuguese man of war. I hope you guys look forward to the next video I make and I hope you guys make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video and comment down below any suggestions or what you enjoyed learning about today.